Along with the new testing method comes a new and improved way of accessing all the documents you need for the test. Now, instead of sitting down to test with a bunch of papers or a binder that's overflowing with low charts and other papers, we'll be giving you everything you need literally at your fingertips. On some questions, you'll need a low chart or some other supplemental document. With this new system, you'll always have access to them at the exact moment you need them. Depending on the size of the screen you're using, you may not be able to see these without scrolling down a bit like I've done here. Let's see. When using load charts, I'm also going to need to take notes and use a calculator, so I'll open both and draw a few things. There we go. With that done, it's time to get what I need from the load chart, which again, I'll find by scrolling down. The first big thing to show you is that when I scroll down on the page, my whiteboard and my calculator don't move. There's no need to chase these around. They'll always be right where you put them. Now let's look at these scroll bars. Looking at the test question, I see that there are two of them. When I move one, it'll sometimes move everything, and sometimes it doesn't. The way to remember what's happening here is that the scroll bar on the far right is for the entire window, and the other is for the load chart itself. Now that I've scrolled the window down to the load chart and scroll the load chart to the information I need, I can do whatever math or comparisons I'll need to answer the question and move on.